I'm Kirk Hansen, Director of Forestry for the Northwest Natural Resource Group. One of the resources that NNRG recently developed for small woodland owners is a guidebook and Excel-based calculator that allows you to measure woody biomass in your forest. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a basic inventory plot, measure the trees, and collect the data that you need to enter into the woody biomass calculator. You can locate your inventory plot wherever you want to in your forest. If we were doing a formal forest inventory, you would want to randomly locate your plots. So you remove any kind of bias from the inventory. So once you've identified where you want to locate your plot, the next thing you need to decide is how big should the plot be. Plots are always circular, and the most common plot size is a 1 20th acre plot. The way to determine how big your plot should be is you want to have at least seven to nine dominant trees per plot. So your plot could be a 20th acre, could be a 10th acre, could be a 5th acre, uh, whatever gets at least seven to eight dominant trees. Now a 20th acre plot is 26.3 feet in radius from a plot center. So once you've located where you want your plot to be, you want to establish plot center and then begin measuring out 26.3 feet and establishing the perimeter of that circular plot. Once you've finished establishing the perimeter of your plot, the next step is to begin systematically measuring the trees. You always want to start with the tree that's closest to north bearing. And the first things you're going to measure and document are the diameter of breast height and the species. I'm going to use the compass on my phone to shoot a north bearing and find the tree that's closest to north. When you're using a diameter tape, the diameter tape has two sides to it. One side measures distance, and the other side is calibrated to measure diameter. So of course you want to make sure you use the side that's calibrated for diameter. You take the tape and you wrap it around the tree at breast height, which is four and a half feet off the ground. Pull the tape the entire way around, and then line up the number of inches in diameter with the zero and record the inches, and you want, want to record to the tenth of an inch. In this case, the tree is 17.8 inches in diameter. One handy tip for making sure that you don't miss any of the trees in your plot when recording their measurements is to take a little piece of flagging, write down the tree number on the flagging, and staple that piece of flagging to the tree. That way, as you count each of the trees and record their measurements, you're absolutely sure that you're not missing any of the trees within your plot. Once you've finished documenting both the diameters of the trees and the tree species, the next step in the inventory process is to calculate the height of each tree. Now I separate the height measurement from the other two measurements because you need to be a pretty significant distance back from the tree. The general rule of thumb is you want to be about as far back from the tree as the tree is tall. So once you have measured the distance from the tree, write down that measurement. The next step is to use the Clinometer app on your phone. By sighting along the top edge of the phone, look towards the top of the tree and record the top angle. Then sight along the top of the phone 
to the base of the tree and write down the base angle. With those two numbers, you can enter them into a tangent formula on your calculator to calculate the height of the tree. Now a good clinometer app will have a lock function on it that when you activate it, once the phone has steadied on that angle, it will lock that number in, which will help you take a look at it and make sure that you get that number correct. Once you've recorded the species, diameter, height, and status of each tree in your inventory plot, you'll have the basic data you need to start using the Woody Biomass Calculator. If you have the time, there are a number of optional pieces of information you can record about each tree in your plot, such as age, live crown ratio, and percent defect. Read through the Woody Biomass Calculator guidebook to learn more about those measurements and how to input all of your inventory data into the Woody Biomass Calculator. Remember, conducting a timber and woody biomass inventory of a forest may sound complicated, but going through the process means developing a deeper knowledge of your woods. As a forest owner, it's a great first step before diving into the substantial decisions of how to steward a healthy and productive forest.